In Fallout New Vegas, there are alternative homes that you can find yourself in other than the one that you sort of buy in Novak. And in this video, I will go through some of them. Hi, I'm Mo and I'm trapped in Fallout. As soon as you leave the Doc's house, if you turn right and sort of follow this road all the way to the end, you will find Victor's shack. Now, this is pretty much a early player home. There are some other homes within Good Springs as well, but this is probably one of the more convenient ones because of the sort of container options we have, as well as the bed options we have. So if you haven't noticed this before, I would imagine it'd be pretty hard to miss this one, but this is probably one of the first player homes that you can sort of find yourself in. So once inside, if you have a look, you have a bed, and you have a number of sort of containers around here, including uh, sort of some aesthetic uh, prettiness, such as a bathroom and a fridge. But here are some containers that you can use, which are sort of deemed safe containers. And that really means that if you store your stuff in here, you won't sort of lose it. But with that said, this is probably one of the earliest play homes that you can get. Some of the downsides to this is that this doesn't really have a waypoint to it. In other words, if you fast travel, you won't be able to get straight to the house, but this is a really good option when you're sort of starting out the game. The next player home that I'd like to talk about is the Lone Wolf Radio. It is directly south from Good Springs. The good thing about this particular place is you can fast travel right to it. So it's got one up on Victor Shack in that sort of regards. You can sort of get here relatively quite quickly. Inside it, there's really only the one sort of container, possibly two, and a bed but aesthetically it doesn't look that great, but it does provide a much quicker access compared to the one in Victor's Shack. So this really isn't a bad home to sort of consider moving into. The next home I would like to talk about is the abandoned shack, which is right next to the Memorial. The Memorial itself is directly east of Good Springs. Once you make it here, from here, if you sort of look to your north, then you will find a rather large building there. And that's the abandoned shack. And that also has some relevantly good options for sort of containers and other goods. So let's just go ahead inside and take a quick look. So once inside, aesthetically, it definitely looks better than the Lone Radio Wolf Shack. Uh, it also has a bed, it's got some container options, and it's also got quite conveniently a reloading workbench. So this is pretty good. Uh, this will definitely come in handy compared to the other two homes that we've seen. We will also explore one of the sort of broken down caravan or vehicle like areas that is right next to Good Spring Source. So if you travel to Good Spring Source, you will find this particular place. Good Spring Source is directly southeast of Good Springs. So once you actually make it to the fast travel point, luckily the actual trailer itself is right in front of you. So you can sort of just go ahead right into it and in it you will find again some relatively good options. So you have some containers, you also have two beds if you ever needed two beds. Um, but something a little bit more unique compared to the other ones is you actually have a place where you can actually cook some food. So this does make it relatively better in some regards, in the sense that you can actually have a campfire set up for some food, and it's got some relatively good options for containers, and it's got a bed as well, and it sort of provides relatively good access and quick access to your stored goods. Another alternative home we have is Jeans Sky Diving. It is also directly southeast of Good Springs. Once you make it, let's go ahead inside. Once inside, you will notice it's got some decent options when it comes to sort of lockers, but unfortunately, there really isn't a place where you can sort of chill out or go to sleep rather. There really isn't anything much around in that regards. But with that said, if you're more after storage space, then you can use this simply because there's sort of more than one. Um, and this is just another alternative option that you have. But in my view, I think the other options that we've seen thus far is probably the more better options. Anyway, with that, let's move on to the last one. The last one on this list, I'd like to talk to you about Harper's Shack. It is directly northwest of Novak. So once you make it in, before going in, let's have a quick look outside. So it also has some containers outside if you ever needed that. Now let's go ahead inside. Now once inside, if we have a look, so we won't sort of rush, let's have a sort of a quick glance around here. We can see that there are plenty of storage options, much more than what we've seen thus far. If you have a look, you've got plenty of containers, you've got plenty of lockers, and it's sort of split into these two uh, house sections. So there's this section here and there's this other section there that we'll go to in a moment. If you have a look at this as well, it's got both a reloading workbench as well as a workbench. And this means that you've got access to both mechanics in the game. 
So the houses we've seen thus far don't really have this. I think we saw one house that has a reloading bench, but this is the first one where it's sort of got both. So this is pretty good as well. Now, if we make our way to the other side of this particular house, again, we've got more storage options, which is again, very, very good, including some containers. And it's also got to boost two beds if you ever needed it. So this is probably my personal favorite, at least anyway, other than the one in Novax or the motel, I definitely prefer this one simply because of its safe containers, the number of options that I have, the ability to sort of use both the reloading and the workbench and to basically have a bed as well. These are some great alternative options to the one you get in Novak. That said, click on the video you see on the screen now to learn more about the Mojave mailbox system, which might actually tempt you to move into the motel in Novak instead.